All right, this is uh, Master Fisherman Kyle, right here. In the water, chest high. He didn't bring his waders today, but it was 90 degrees. <laughs> He's got a fish on. You have fish? Yeah. Oh, okay. But I also got oh, the this guy, yellow t-shirt. The guy in the yellow t-shirt. You got a bonus. <laughs> <clears throat> You got a bonus, man. You got a bonus. Oh, there, there he goes. The fish. You want it? Success. You want it? Okay. Success. No. <laughs> How's the water, Kyle? That's pretty warm. Yeah. <laughs> it's not bad at all. Yeah, I know. I bet you. All right, that's how to no, fish. I'm, I'm out in the river so long. Like, <laughs> oh, it's awesome. Uh, this is all good fun. Shad fishing, of course, late at night, doesn't get any better. What's going on everybody? Um, it is July 21st, so I'm trying to find out when shad really start to go out back to the ocean. So that's why I keep on coming back because, I mean, they're still around. So I've been going to um, this area since July 4th. And I thought after July 4th, it was going to be um, gone. The fishing, I mean, for shad was going to be already s much slowed. But uh, we're still catching fish, which is kind of amazing. So tonight, um, it is evening. So the evening bite has been definitely much more productive um, as of late. So that's why I'm using this peak time. But anyways, um, yeah. Welcome back to uh, Hallie's Adventures. Let's see if we can catch uh, some shad tonight. And, and this probably will be one of our, uh, the last nights that I'm, I'm going to probably uh, go fish for, for shad. All right, all right, let's go. Check it out. You guys got a double header? Yeah. What's up with Raymond over there, man? He's been quiet. He's serious. Look at that, he's serious. Oh, you got one. Uh, Allie, I was, I, was, I was doing so bad earlier, like when I got here, like 10 casts, nothing, everybody's catching fish around. Oh. <laughs> you know, I was like, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, nice. Yeah. Double header right there. All right, guys, before we go to the water and, and start fishing, let's review our tackle first with the fishing pole. We got a Sililo, Sililo Ukuma uh, fishing rod. This is nine and a half foot, uh, light action. And the reason why we have a longer pole here is because we need to cast it fairly far out uh, on the river, especially in the, at the place where we're fishing. And we have it hooked up to a three-way swivel onto a pencil uh, weight and then normally we use three quarters of an uh, ounce to one and one ounce okay and then on the snap swivel over here we just attach our six foot leader to a shad dart jig or what i use is a customized jig that i that i find very successful and uh pretty much that's it so uh let's let's get on the river and Let's get it started. All right, there it is. I was out there. All right, fish number three. Coming up. That is out there. It's coming in though. Let's see. Oh, this might be a small one. Just coming in. It's coming in so fast. Maybe it's really small. We might have to let this go, Raymond. Too small. Very small. Yeah, small. We'll have to let this go. Very small. Let's get him right on his shoulder so that he calms down. Ah. Right there. 
right here. Nice hook set right on the top gill. Let's get him released. He should be alright. There he goes. What's up fellas? Actually, I am back home. One of the fishermen over there, um, I, I gave him uh, some smoke shad and then in return he just, like I wasn't expecting it, but he went fishing tonight and I, I was there and he gave me, you know, shad with black beans sauce. It's steamed and it was still warm and I tasted it. Uh, wow, it was wonderful. Anyways, um, I saved it and I brought it home so I can, I can have it with some rice and, and right there. So here's a close up of it. It's this shad with black bean sauce. Okay. I can see the bones already um, protruding in, in over by the rib area, but um, he said it should peel right off of the uh, the bones. So let's uh, let's give it a try. I've tasted it over there and it was delicious. So he says you just use your fork and then you just kind of slide it. Like the meat will just slide off. Like, like so, okay. All right. I see, okay, I see it. So you just pick the, the bones off. Oh, they do just slide off. Mmm, wow, that's good. Oh my gosh, the ginger, the black beans. What else do I taste in here? The peppers. Oh man, this is really good. Man, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I I'm definitely gonna. I'm gonna ask him for the recipe on, on this one. So I'm. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this, and um, we'll see you guys next time. All right. Yeah. When when you're. When you land it, put it on its side, not like straight up. Did you want to grab it like this? Yeah. No. Well. Straight side like that, yeah. All right, man, you're okay. Release. Do the release. What, what yeah, just on? you know, put the no, just put it softly on the gr uh, ground and let it swim by itself. What kind of release is that, man? Yeah, that was kind of a janky <laughs> release. You never no. seen a fish? Oh no, Kate. Okay. Oh, no. You gotta, you gotta like, you should try to move him around a little bit. No, I can't get in. Oh, there, there, there it goes. It's gone. There you go. There. Right off. Six. Have you never seen a fish release on YouTube? <laughs>